don't have any high expectations for dinner. I am beat. No, Janie, Julie isn't here. And you're probably going to need a drink for what's coming next. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News to like, Let's get to it, you guys, man. This is a very, 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 very interesting stuff, man. Uh, so, I know a lot of you guys were very disappointed, very disappointed by... Um, a lot of you guys are very disappointed and understandably so, you know, don't, don't even apologize, I don't, but I know a lot of you guys are disappointed. The fact that CBS didn't leave this last scene out. Sometimes we get these open ended scenes where the original, so let's see. So what happened was NCIS Hawaii got canceled after they had already wrapped filming. So they didn't have a chance to do like an alternate ending type of thing. Like usually some shows where you have a see a real series. Like this wasn't a real series finale. This was um, an abrupt season a series finale because it got canceled. So when the show gets canceled like that, you know you don't get the proper ending. Shows that run a long time, they're gonna get a proper ending, and you get the real ending. You know that you're supposed to get. This was like with Magnum a couple of seasons ago. For those of y'all that watch Magnum PI. You notice that even though we did get a very good closing scene, we, that wasn't a real ending scene because it got canceled after they filmed it. So they went on ahead and a lot of people were complaining about CBS showing that scene, bro, because it was like, bro, how you still going to show that scene? And, um, you know, it's like, bro, how you still going to show that scene? Instead of throwing it away, because the scene right before that was a happy ending. That actually would have been a good ending for the show. The, the, the scene right before that, where they all were together for the last time, they were about to, you know, Sam was about to go back to LA. They shared some drinks. Bro, that was, bro, that was the last scene right there. There are times, I've been through this a lot of times though, where you had those open ended scenes, and that's the last scene you've up with, so you never find out what the hell happens. That's what happened here. You never, we're never going to find out what the hell happened. Um, and it's sad. It's sad. Um, but let me go over the scene. My bad, y'all. I didn't even go over the scene yet. So, the scene was, was that Jane comes home, right? Jane is actually looking for Julie. Julie, uh, she expected to uh, find her daughter, and she said, um, you know, basically, like like some of us probably had to go through, like, when your mom don't want to cook dinner or something like that, or doesn't have the energy to do it. You know, she was like, Julie, I hope you ain't waiting on me to make dinner because I ain't got no energy, man. You know, she probably just flew in from Serbia as well. So she says, instead of sitting on the living room couch, she finds an old woman, an older woman, sitting on her couch, and it was no other than Maggie Shaw, who we hadn't seen since the season, since season two, bro. Since season two, when she ran away, and she told Jane, "You better have a drink because this is gonna be a long one." Like I think the actual, because I wrote it down, I think she said, "No, Janie, Julie isn't here." Then she said, "And you're probably gonna need a drink for what's coming next." So she was about to explain Polly what everything will happen between the time that she started going on the run and everything in between there. So she was gonna reveal everything to her. And for those of y'all that are not familiar with Maggie, Maggie is Jane's mentor. You know, she used to be in the CIA and everything like that. So, this, we were never going to find out what the hell she was going to tell, tell Jane, man. Um, some people have written out some things that they that they thought she might have said to Jane and stuff like that. But, man, we ain't going to truly never know, man. That, that, and that that's what makes that scene, like, come on, man. Because that would have been the perfect scene for the season. Like, if we got another scene, that would have been perfect for the season finale. Perfect. But not for no damn series finale, bro. Come on now. So I understand that people's frustrations with it, man. So if y'all got any comments on it, man, or what y'all think she would have said, put it down in the comment section below, man. We're going to get to the Lucy and K scenes next, man. Go on ahead and get this video. Like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news delight.